I'm Adam from Lead Pages, and today we're talking about GIFs. Actually, it's pronounced GIF. You mean GIF? No, 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 no. GIF. 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 GIF stands for Graphic Interchange Format, but that probably doesn't mean anything to you. To most people, GIFs are just funny cat videos and epic fails, but they're also great for marketing. You can put them on Facebook or Twitter, and emails too. There are several ways to make GIFs, but many require tools like Photoshop, which can have a steep learning curve. Here at Lead Pages, we like to use a tool called GIF Brewery to make GIFs. Here's how it works. You can start with any video clip or record a new one. Once you've opened the app, go ahead and choose your video file. Click the two-sided arrow to resize your video. The smaller your video, the faster it will load. Then use the crop tool to cut off the edges and focus it in on the action. Grab the green and red lines to set the beginning and end of your GIF. You'll want to keep it short here to reduce the file size. You can preview your GIF at any time by clicking the arrow in a circle pattern. Using the gear icon, if you want the action in your GIF to be smooth, increase the frames per second. If you want the action to be choppy, just decrease the frames per second. Now choose a loop type. The palindrome option means that it will play forward and backward in a sequence. You can also choose how many times the GIF will repeat and adjust the colors. If you'd like to add text, just click on the speech bubble and you can add your text right there. This shutter icon here will let you save your GIF. Pay attention to the file size on the bottom right. Depending on where you're displaying your GIF, you may want to have a smaller size. So to reduce that size, try making the GIF smaller, use less colors, and shorten its duration. And that's how you make a GIF. There you have it.